It's been confirmed that former Doctor Who writer and showrunner Stephen Moffat will be returning to the show this year to pen an episode of Shooter Gatwa's first season. So rumours that Moffat might be returning to Doctor Who started around about a year ago, and I think at the time people kind of thought, oh okay, like Russell's back, you know, maybe this could be true as well. I think particularly over the past year, and particularly in recent months, those rumours really started to gain traction. You had Moffat being quizzed by journalists at press events and, and things, you know, saying, oh, are you coming back to Doctor Who? Oh, the rumour's true. And he was there, playing it all down, saying, oh, no, I'd, I'd be insane to write more Doctor Who. Uh, the fans are quite happy, you know, without me in the picture, and the show's in safe hands, you know, Russell is there, a new Doctor, a new team, whatever. But obviously that was all a ruse, and I think people were starting to suss that one out and say, okay, Perhaps he is back, it's looking more likely now, and here we go. Rather amusingly as well, I think just about a week ago, it was rumoured in the press that Stephen is writing this year's Christmas special, which would be a huge break with tradition, because usually it's always been the incumbent showrunner who's written the festive special, you know, that corresponded to a particular year, a particular series. So Russell did all the specials in his era, you know, Stephen did all the specials in his era, Chris Chimnall had all the, the festive specials in his era, so that would be a massive sort of unprecedented move if it is true, which, you know, you never know, but it's looking a bit more likely now. And I think that's partially why they chose this moment to confirm his involvement in season one, because, yeah, like, as we found out the other day, the series is only eight weeks away now, it's coming up fairly soon, it's in May, they've got to confirm this stuff one way or another, sooner rather than later, and, yeah, I think the way they kind of revealed it sort of says it all, really, they've got this breaking news graphic that sort of harks back to, like, the days of 2015, 2016, Doctor Who Twitter, uh, in my mind, at least, anyway, Breaking news there, with a photo of Stephen that's like six years old from the fan show interview they did with him, the kind of three-part interview, which in fairness is excellent, it's just kind of a weird choice of photo, like why not have something more recent, but anyway. So, Stephen Moffat writes an episode for the new season of Doctor Who, with Julie Ann Robinson directing. Former showrunner Stephen Moffat makes an explosive return to the new series of Doctor Who, as he writes an episode due to air in Shooter Gatwa's first season as the 15th Doctor. So they haven't actually said which episode it is that he's writing in the series, and I don't think it's actually been officially confirmed either which episodes the directors are directing, but if you look at the dates and stuff, as Miles and I did in a video a few months ago, if you look at everything and all the information and make it all sort of line up and match up, the only two episodes that Julian Robinson could have directed are episodes one and three, which basically means he's writing episode three. Stephen has been lauded for his work on Doctor Who, first writing on the show when Russell T Davis revived it in 2005. Of course, now in very similar circumstances where he's writing for Russell's first series again, like 20 years later. He then went on to succeed as showrunner, leading the show during the Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi eras. Stephen is known for panning some of the most praised episodes in the show's history, as well as creating one of the most terrifying and iconic monsters the Weeping Angels. And it is worth remembering, yes, that, you know, Stephen has penned lots of really acclaimed episodes. Uh, just for instance, in last year's Doctor Who magazine 60 Years poll, half of the top 10 were written by him. So Heaven Sends in, in first place, World of the Time of Doctor Falls in second place, uh, They're the Doctor in fifth place, Blink obviously in sixth place, and Science in the Library slash Forest of the Dead in tenth place. So not a bad record by any means. Outside of Doctor Who, Stephen has been celebrated for co-writing and co-creating the multi-award winning series Sherlock. Now he's back, returning alongside showrunner Russell T Davis, as he writes a whole new adventure for the upcoming season, debuting this May. Directing the thrilling adventure will be BAFTA, Emmy and Golden Globe nominee Julie Ann Robinson, who also kicks off the season by directing the episode that succeeds the church on Ruby Road, that aired at Christmas. Julianne has previously directed some blockbuster television series, including Bridgerton, Orange is the New Black, and Scandal, and is now jumping on board the TARDIS to direct two of the episodes. Speaking of his return to the Hooniverse, Stephen Moffat says, Yes, okay, fair enough. Apologies to everyone I very slightly misled. I am in fact writing an episode of the new series of Doctor Who. Exactly like I said, I never would. What can I tell you? There was begging, there was pleading, but finally Russell agreed to let me have another go, so long as I got out of his garden. Working with old friends and a brand new Doctor, I couldn't be happier. Sorry I was a bit reticent on the subject for so long. It was all part of an elaborate plan that would have delighted millions, but at the last minutes, 
I forgot what it was. There's also a quote from Julianne Robinson who says that Stephen Moffat gave me an intense challenge as a director. I asked him for a key word to describe the overall tone of the episode, and he said, Hitchcock. So there we go, the news is confirmed, Stephen Moffat is back, he's returned to Doctor Who to write at least an episode of season one, possibly episodes after that as well, we don't know at this stage. But yes, I've seen conflicting sort of opinions and responses to this online from fans. I think some people are really thrilled by the idea of having Moffat back, and rightly so, because like I say, he wrote all of those acclaimed episodes, you know, Blink, The Empty Child, Doctor Dancers, which I don't like as much, but lots of people do, you know, Go in the Fireplace, The, the Library Two Parter, all the stuff in his own era as well. And I think people are particularly pleased to have him back in what I saw one person call guest writer mode. So he's not there as the showrunner again, you know, he's not steering the ship, he's not controlling everything, he's just coming in to do an episode and then kind of going away again, maybe coming back the following year, we don't know at this point. But yes, you know, that is how he started off in the show, in Russell's first era, as a guest writer and not as a showrunner. And lots of people would argue that he kind of crazed his best work during those first few years when he was just a guest writer, you know, when he wasn't responsible for the show as a whole, when he could really just focus on one or two episodes per season and really kind of put his all into those and make them something really special. Um, and I, I think I, I wouldn't particularly agree with that necessarily. I think he did a lot of great stuff in his own era as well, but I do concede that there was less opportunity in his own era for similar sort of chamber pieces, you know, one-off, bespoke, standalone stories. We had some stuff like that, you know, Heaven Sent to some extent, or Listen, or Extremists. But yes, you know, overall he was writing season openers and season finales and kind of big, bombastic episodes and having to kind of have that whole overview of the series and dilute himself that bit more. And, and so I can see, yes, that there is a certain logic to having him back as a guest writer, and that certainly is something that's really exciting because we've not seen him in guest writer mode since 2008. I suppose the other side of this is, do we really need more Moffat at this point? Uh, you could say the same about Russell as well, to be honest. And I think I can kind of get behind that idea to some extent, in the sense that, you know, where are our new writers? Where are our new voices? I mean, we do know about Kate Heron and Bryony Redman, who have written episode six, the Regency episode, as a writing partnership, as a duo. But aside from that, we don't know about any other guest writers, any of the new guest writers. And as far as I can see, you know, basically every episode is accounted for now, apart from episode two, which is probably written by Russell, but could be written by someone else, and episode five, because we know that Russell's going to be doing the opener and two parts season finale, you know, we know about Stephen doing episode three, we know about Kate and Brian doing episode six, and we know as well that Russell has penned episode four based on comments he made previously, so that does just leave episodes two and five, which could be written by guest writers, could also be written by Russell, we'll see. But yeah, it's kind of slightly disappointing, particularly off the back of an era that really kind of championed new voices, both in front of and behind the camera in all sorts of different departments, you know, actors, writers, directors, whatever. You know, on the one hand, it's great to have Moffat back and Russell as well, because they're both great writers in their own rights. But it would just be nice to have a few new writers confirmed as well alongside them, I think, to kind of abate those sort of fears. What are your thoughts on this news? Are you happy to see Moffat back or not? And did you suspect this or not? Did you believe the rumours? Are you actually surprised or, or not so much? Uh, whatever your thoughts, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you've got to say. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new for more stuff like this in the future. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.